social banking from GT Bank. Anywhere, anytime, any device. Alrighty. Hi, guys. So I think it's time to just let off a couple of things off my chest, basically. Let out some steam. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I know some people are going to call me wicked, Sha, but I think some things need to be said. Uh, we talk about makeup that a lot of people wear. Um, so I know people are looking for a husband. I know people are trying to just look so nice and appealing and stuff, but you need to stop it. That masquerade painting stuff, you need to stop it. All those men are calling to your house to be drawing eyebrow that's coming from here to here. I think you need to stop it. I don't know where this thing started from. Maybe it's from going to weddings where people feel, oh, you have to dress up. Dress up. Look nice. Look pretty. But having eight different layers, and then you want to contour the stuff, then you want here to be like here, then you want to attempt to look like Kim Kardashian. You know Kim Kardashian does not even look like herself. I think you know there's surgery involved. So I think everybody just needs to calm down with that nonsense. I'm tired of seeing girls who walk into clubs and walk out literally with their face melted off. Mascara running, your blouse is all stained. Can't even hug guys again because, I mean, why should I be saying hi to guy friends of mine? You are seeing patch of different shade of Bobby Brown or a man or whatever it is. Girls, I, it's not necessary, really and truly. And for those of you who feel like it is, maybe you should start thinking of the underlying condition. Condition of your skin? Perhaps you want to start washing your makeup brushes. Perhaps you want to expose yourself to natural sunlight. I think those kind of things can be useful for you. Can you take off makeup in front of your friends? Ask yourself these kind of important questions. If you cannot remove your makeup in front of your friends, your spouse, potential boyfriend, I think you need to check yourself. Maybe there's an underlying issue I'm just saying that you might need to address, okay? Uh -huh. So moving on from that, let's also look at your clothing. Again, I have to go back to weddings, being that I don't even attend that many myself, because this thing, weddings have moved on from, let's celebrate the couple, it's so nice, ah, my friend is getting married, that's so good to, ha. Huh. Oh, girl, please, which man said they're going to be there today? See, my father doesn't let me out club you, so I have to go to the... Then you're not wear the dress that's so tight. When you sit down to try and eat, heat will expand. And it's not expanding naturally. It's breaking. Please, there are no tailors at wedding. Don't come to somebody's house to prepare to be a bridesmaid, and your dress is so tight that we have to stitch you back into it after it pops. Please, it is not that serious. Get over yourselves. The day is not about you. It's about somebody else. So if you are one of those regular wedding attenders, you don't know the bride or groom. You don't know which side of the family you're supposed to be on. You are unsure of the color, but for some reason, you have all the relevant ashwabi and colors in your wardrobe. I think you need to check yourself. I'm just saying, though. For those girls who feel like it's okay to walk out on the streets, see, embrace your femininity. If you are about that sexy look, go for it and work it with confidence. But when your hot pants has moved from hot pants to hog pants, maybe you should not go out like that in public. Because watching girls reach to pull out things from the crack, it's kind of gross, though. You are not that skinny. Stop it. Stop it. And then finally, let's get back to this hair situation. Now, I know people are going to say, oh, team natural, just because your hair is natural, and you see your jeans, stop it. They're just silly things that people say. No, yes, it's a certain part in your jeans, the way that your hair is going to come out. But you know what? If you spend the same amount of time, money, and effort that you put into buying your Brazilian, Peruvian, Malaysian, Afro-Caucasian, all this, there are many of them. If you use that time and money and effort and just be spraying your hair with water twice a day, voila, it will grow. Try and help yourselves out. It's a bit creepy for guys when they get you, you know, no sex before marriage, but for those of you who are trying to be in the bedroom and trying to know what's going on before, you know, they put the ring on your finger, it's a bit discouraging if my man gets in the bed and, whew, let me just like, no, no, please. If they dunk you inside water, you have to come out looking all right and represent yourself. So I'm just, I'm just saying, though, sort yourself out, you know, like natural confidence, try a little bit to just make you look nice. Stop trying to create a false impression. Stop trying to paint yourself as somebody that you are not because nothing about that is attractive. So beauty wise, I'm, I'm just saying, girls, we need to check ourselves. Yeah, I think that's it. Hi, I'm Onos. And if you did enjoy that video, which I know you did, you better subscribe to our channel and you can watch more videos too.